everyone. We're going to talk about the four types of discontinuities um, for calculus. And what you need to know is on these first four, I'm just going to write down what the their names are. And then I'm going to do four examples with actual equations to show you what's going on with the limits and whatnot. But anyway, the first one we have here, number one, this one's called a jump. All right, it occurs when there's a break. So there's a break right in here between this open hole here and uh, this one here. So you can also notice that if you take the limit as x approaches a from the left, it's right in here, and it doesn't equal the limit as x approaches a from the right. Approaches a from the right, you come up to that. So this is called a jump discontinuity. This one right here is called a point discontinuity. It has a hole in it from a missing because the function has a value that's off the curve. So say at 2, this function is at 1, 2, 3, 4. So the value's at 4. It's not on the curve. All right? So in this case, you'd say the limit as x approaches a of f of x, which is our a would be 2, does not equal f of a. All right? Because there would, it, would, it would be undefined there. All right, and this third one here... Um, this one's called a uh, removable discontinuity. So I'm going to call this one removable. Okay, this one has, occurs when you have a rational expression um, with common factors, and you can cross out those factors. Um, that discon so that discontinuity is called removable. And the last one is an essential discontinuity, so we'll call this one uh, essential. All right, so this occurs when you have a rational function, and it's undefined in the denominator at a certain point. So we're going to go over these examples. So the four different types are called jump, point, removable, and essential. All right, so let's go over these quickly. I have um, a, a piecewise defined function here, and if I kind of graph this, I should have done a different graph, but whatever. So basically, if I graph from uh, all numbers less than 2, so I'm at 2, and 2, if I plug in 2, that goes, that uh, maps to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it can equal 2. And 0 would go to 3. We know it's a line uh, with a slope of 1, so it goes on and on here. Alright, so that is this one. And for this one, it says when x is greater than 2. So if you go to 2, and it can't equal 2, but you still have to plug in 2. So 2 squared is 4, so there it is. And 3 would go to 9 way up in here, so it's a quadratic. All right? So that one right there would be called a, a jump. Um, let's see, this function right here would be called a jump discontinuity. All right? So next one we have is this one. So um, if I plot this, I'm going to plot uh, x squared everywhere but 2. So that's what that means, everywhere but 2. We know what it looks like. 1 goes to 1. However, 2 goes maps to 4, but it can't equal 2. It can equal negative 2, though. So it basically, it's something like this. And it continues on and on. However, at 2... Um, at 2, it equals 5. So we go 1, 2, um, 
This should have been at 4, so basically let me do 4 here. So 2 goes to 4 here. So there's your little hole there. So 2 maps to 5, so there's the point right there. All right. This one is considered um, a point discontinuity. All right. It's the function is the, it's continuous everywhere except at x equals two. All right. The next one is this one. So basically, this one here. If you know what your rationals look like, if you know the the form of this equals one over x, we know this is a horizontal shift um, to the right by two, but we can't have two, so that generates um, a vertical asymptote here. We do have a horizontal asymptote at x equals 0, or y equals 0, but at x equals 2, we have that vertical asymptote. So basically, if you drew this, um, go out a little bit on this, uh, at 2, we'll just go out a little bit at 5. You plug in, so it's just something like this. Uh, I'm just going to sketch it. All right. So something like this gets closer and closer to the asymptote. All right, this one's called the sensual because you can't have two, you can't divide by zero. It's undefined. All right. And the last one we have is this one. This is a rational, so it's also a sensual discontinuity. We factor this we're going to get equals x minus 3 times x minus 5 divided by x minus 1 divided by x minus 5. So what happens here is these cancel out. So that's going to generate a hole here at 5. All right. So um, I went ahead and graphed it. And I plug in 5 to the reduced equation, I get uh, 5 minus 3 divided by 5 minus 1. That's going to equal 2 fourths, which equals 1 half. So your whole occurs at 5 comma 1 half. So there's a discontinuity at x equals 5. All right? And this one is considered... Um, kind is that considered? This one's considered a removable. I lost my thought there. A removable discontinuity if they have a hole like that. And that's your examples. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.